Hey guys, Matt from Toast MTG here. And today I've got a new video for you. It is, as you can see by the title, I want all my lovely subscribers, viewers, whatever you are, um, to design me a planeswalker. Now, I want you to take your time over this. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna say you've got a couple of weeks to do it, so two weeks from today of this video. Uh, what's the date today? I think it's the 24th, so 14 days on from now, whatever date that will be. I'll write it in the description <laughs> once I know what it is. But it's literally two weeks from today's date. Um, so yeah, I want you guys to design me a planeswalker. And what I will do with that, um, I will try and, you know, do my best to print it off. As in make a, you know, like a proxy version of it. And then I'll build, you know, possibly a standard or modern deck around it. So what you guys need to do, um, you know the way planeswalkers are, you know what they are. Um, one thing I'm going to suggest is, you know, to get your planeswalker with a chance of being chosen for the one that I put together and build around, is to not to make it overpowerful. Because if it's overpowerful, you know, there's no point in me making it where, you know, something like the plus one, 25 damage to a target opponent. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not saying obviously stupid like that, but... You know, think of if you want to build it so a standard base sort of planeswalker. You know, think about maybe saying, you know, you've got energy counters now, we've got fabricate, we've got lots of new things. Maybe the mechanics and the pluses and the minuses you want to build around, you know, new mechanics that are in standard at the moment. Maybe about, you know, tribal, you know, if you want to do it Chandra based or, you know, the Jace type planeswalkers. You know, what I want you to do is, is to design your own. If you can actually actually design the card and send me a proof of the card, as in, you know, maybe you've got some kind of art program on your computers, you could sort of, you know, send me, you know, a picture you want, might want to do the art. Obviously, you've got to name your Planeswalker as well. Um, but yeah, basically, that's what I want to do. Um, if you can't sort of design it on computer, no worries about that. Just, you know, sort of list it, you know, saying... It's called this, plus one, minus one, minus three, whatever you are. You know, if it's going to have an emblem, something like that. You know, and perhaps a minus is an emblem or anything else. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be an interesting, you know, interesting idea where all of you get involved. You know, I like doing the thing where all our subscribers uh, get involved. So if you're new to us, press that subscribe button now. Um, and I will, you know, do my best to make the card and then I will build a deck around it. Feature it on like a Deck Tech Tuesday or something. And then hopefully the next time, you know, I get a versus match, I will play your Planeswalker in a versus match. Which is why, obviously, I don't want it stupidly overpowered. I don't want it underpowered, but I don't want it overpowered. So it's going to take a bit of thinking. That's why I'm going to give you guys two weeks to build it. So anyway, I've rambled on enough. Um, I hope you like this, um, like this idea. Seems like it's going to be really fun. And like I said, if you can't actually send me the design of it, don't worry. You know, just list it out maybe in the comments. Or you can send everything to me at, uh, send it to Matt at TotalMTG1 at gmail.com. That is TotalMTG1 at gmail.com. And I will obviously always reply to your emails. Uh, might not be the same day, but I will always get back to you. And if not, you can leave it in the comments. But anyway, guys, get thinking, get designing, and I look forward to seeing all your planeswalkers soon. Thanks a lot, guys.